So the third excuse that people say is, James didn't say you're justified by works. He said you're justified by faith and works is just a fruit of it. Works is just the proof of it. Now this is an easy one to debunk because all you gotta do is open up James chapter two and read it. That's not what he said. He said clearly in James 2, 24, you see then that a man is justified by works and not by faith only. Do you know what that means? Is it too complicated for you? Look at the full context of the chapter. James chapter 2, verses 1 through 7. James addresses the people who are showing favoritism towards the rich and mistreating the poor. They are not loving the poor as per Torah. And he calls them out for it. And he points to the Torah, saying that they need to fulfill the royal law, the royal Torah. It's not talking about the law of Caesar. This is talking about the law of God. And apparently these people pride themselves in being Torah keepers. And he just says, basically, listen, you guys, you stumble in the most basic of the Torah laws. You might as well be classified as a law breaker, not a law keeper. It's like you just break the entire thing. So apparently these people were believers. They had quote unquote faith. But James makes it very clear that faith is dead. It doesn't do anything. It's useless. It won't get you an inch toward heaven. And then James sarcastically rubs it in when he says, you have faith and I have works. Show me your faith without works and I'll show you my faith by my works. This is sarcastic because there's no way you can show anybody faith without works. Because without works, there's no faith. There's nothing to show. And the very act of showing it is works. And then he says in verse 19, well, you believe you have faith? <laughs> Good for you. Even the demons do. In other words, what makes you better than them? He calls them foolish because they think that their faith is actually valuable without their works. And then he points to Abraham. Verse 21, was not Abraham our father justified by works when he offered Isaac his son on the altar? Of course, in context, this is talking about being justified before God because there's no one else there. Nowhere here does James say, well, faith alone saves you, but works is just a byproduct of your salvation. In fact, nowhere in the entire book of James does it say that. That heresy is what man says, not God. Man blows a smoke screen over this and says, oh yeah, but that, that's not what James means. It's time you believe what God actually says through James and not the corrupt Christian narrative that man reads into it.